Hey guys and welcome, uh, Sidescribe here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Armour 3 Sync. Uh, what it is, literally, it will help you install mods a lot easier. Um, you can predetermine launch parameters and load up a service straight away without having to go through the normal multiplayer and the rest of it. So, first off, you come to the site that you'll find linked in the description. It'll tell you quite a lot of information, which kind of is a bit too much, really. So, what's the point? And the second link that you're going to find in there will just be like to where the download is. Just scroll down to the very bottom. You'll see it's ARM3 Sync Launch and Add-on syn Synchronization. So all I showed you at first was it tells you about the, the mods. You can look at it and etc. etc. This is just literally second link where to on how to install. If you click it, it'll download to your normal dial on file. Click Run. Allow it to run. And normal stuff. Install it wherever you want. So I'm going to install it in my C programs. Yes, doesn't have to be in the folder where the game is held. Let's go through normal stuff. Launch and all of a sudden it's like, oh, doo -doo, this has just popped up. Why has it failed? Why has it failed? Well, the thing you need to look at. Let me just get this out of the way a bit. Is you know, your file, you have to, that little symbol there means it has to be under administration or by the administrator. So if you run it by as, as administrator, as in I am the administrator, I want this to run, it'll pop up uh, with the program. Now you have to find where the, do you know, the exe file is. So you got to select, go to your folder, so as in with the last video, mine's in F Drive, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Armour 3, just again. Steam. Steam apps. Come on. Arm three. I was like, oh, no, no, yes. It just says Arm three exe. That's just your main program file when you use Steam or not. Click OK. Click OK. Bosh. Done. Now, just to set the game to work a little bit faster, go to launcher options before you do anything else. Click on no logs, default world empty, no splash screen. That'll just mean the game runs a bit faster. Um, so I have eight cores of processors. So there, I'll just go and bosh that in. So the CPU count is full. It tells you where the game's installed. You do a join server when you've gone onto a server. You can select it from here. These are the ones I haven't used, I haven't looked into it. Add-on options and the add-ons themselves. Now this is where if you want to launch, say you want to launch a Xenos game one. So you right click on the left hand window, add group, create a group just saying tacky live server. Oh just tacky life actually. Nice and simple. That creates file. You left click, drag, left click, drag. That's it, it's installed. Now if I go and click on start game now, it's gonna launch in the vanilla way of doing it. If I go and click on this now, it's going to select them both. It's going to launch Tacky Life. To minimize that, I'm just going to open another group. Breaking points. Drag that into there. Minimize it. So I can just literally switch between it. Click start, I'll launch Tacky. Click breaking point, untick Tacky, launch, gone. That's it. Nice and simple. No problems there. And that's literally it. If you need anything else, guys, let me know. Um, this was on a request by somebody, so that's why I've made the video. So if there's anything else you want to see, you just tell me in the comment section. I'll try to get it done for you. Okay, guys. Well, take care and thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to uh, click the like button. I appreciate it. Tell your mates about this and just spread it around. It'll help my channel grow. If you want to play some games, just hit me up. Take care. Some size,